So Alex, how much do you know about Genshin Impact? Basically nothing. I'm going to go through some characters for you, and I, I just want you to try and guess what kind of element of magic they use, what weapon you think they might use, and just sort of what they make you think about. Do you think what kind of person you think they are? That sort of thing. Cool. I reckon spear. Okay. Electric spear. I'm going to go with... We have a spear, because we don't have a spear yet. There's so little left. None of them have spears. That's true. Maybe Leeway will make up for that. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> so we've done one stat. The other sort of area of the game, which is currently available to play in, is Leeway. So we'll start off with Bayden. The, Sword. Yeah, just I'll just preempt this. Those swords floating around are from her weapon. It doesn't mean to imply it's just an effect from the weapon. It doesn't imply that it is a sword. Oh. It doesn't mean it isn't. I'm gonna go with sword anyway. Okay. Or actually no it looks like a claymore. I'm gonna go with claymore. Um she seems kinda tanky. Like not super tanky, but like mid tank range. Yeah. Um I'm gonna go fire pyro because she's wearing red and that tends to be the theme for them mm -hmm. um yeah i'd say she's not super quick but she's not like the slowest ever like she's quite fast despite having a claymore i'm gonna go with what about personality wise um like the female version of the other fire guy the luke yeah yeah um so Bado is actually Electra. She is a Claymore user, and she is tanky. Um, her, she sort of has like a counter thing where she puts up a sword and then when enemies hit her, she does a counter attack, which um, does more damage the more times she's been hit. Yeah, she's Electra. She's a pirate captain. Yeah, no, I see that. Yeah, <laughs> she has an eye patch. She actually is a pirate, unlike Kaya. Yeah, she she... She actually has a ship sort of docked outside Leeway, the capital city, which you so you can see in the background. Yeah. Okay, moving on, we have Chong Yun. Ice. What makes you think that? <laughs> uh, he looks almost goatish. Um, I can get that with the legs. Yeah. His uh, trousers. Yeah. Like puffy. Um, I'd say magic or a bow, but I'm going to go with magic. Um... He kind of support probably um, does a bit of damage, but not like a super amount. Yeah, definitely support. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, yeah, he, like with the whole yin yang thing, I feel like he's got a very big like moral compass that he always tries to do what's right and stops other people from doing things if he doesn't think it's right. Fair enough. Um, so Chong Yun is crying. You're right. Unsurprisingly. What weapon did you think he had? Did you say that? Yet? If he's got a spear, I swear to God. <laughs> I said magic. Okay. He's actually a claymore. And I would say he's more of a support, but he can be a damage dealer. He's sort of, he has a unique ability in that he can make other people's attacks ice as well. Right. So if you have like a fire character, you can make them their, no their normal attacks do ice and then their fire ability will do more damage to them. He's, he's an exorcist. So he goes around finding and stopping ghosts and demons and <laughs> but yeah he uh that's sort of him. Next we have Ganyu. Uh ice. I'm gonna go with ice. Because mm -hmm. they look like crystal, like snowflakes around it. Yeah. Um Wanna go with spear. She can't have a spear yet. She looks like she might be. Fair enough. Yeah. Um I feel like it looks like she's got like devil horns or something. Yeah. Um, so I reckon she tries to, she, like, she always kind of slightly goes wrong with things. Um, nothing ever quite goes right for her. A bit like Bennett. Okay. Um, but not like, not as funny in a way. It's kind of more sad that nothing quite goes right mm -hmm. for her. Um, I'd say magic user. Not spear. Oh, it is spear. I've already said spear. Oh, you can change your mind. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go spear. Okay, so Ganyu is Cryer. She's a bow user, <laughs> and um, 
yeah, she's she's very much a main attacker. She's probably the strongest main attacker in the game at the moment. Uh, you mentioned the horns. Another character really likes cocoa goat milk, so everyone likes to call her like the cocoa goat. Um, but she's somehow to, uh, Venti was the archon of a monster. Uh, in Liyue, they have different kinds of protectors, and she's one of those. And she just yeah, she's an archer. Next we have Hu Tao. I'm gonna go fire. If there was like a ghost or dark type, then definitely that. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go fire. Um, I'm gonna go magic. Okay. Um, hmm. Where Whereabouts in the team do you think? Yeah. I'm gonna go mid. So like not quite support, but not quite damage. Like okay. somewhere kind of like in the middle, does a bit of both maybe. Um, I don't know her personality, she's very... She's quite uh, kooky. Yeah, I don't think she'd have many friends. It's a fair observation. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, people just kind of watch her and like not quite sure what's going on. Mm. So, Hu Tao is Pyro. You're gonna hate me for this. <laughs> She's a spear user, and uh, she's like the main damage dealer of the group. Usually. Okay. Um, she's quite a ex. What's the word? She's a strange person. She is in charge of the Wang Shen funeral parlor. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, she has quite a dark sense of humor. So she'll go around offering people like a buy one get one free on funerals. <laughs> and that ghost that has fallen around is like, her. I think it's a friend or, not like a friend as in who died, but she she definitely uses the ghost for her yeah. powers. Uh, like, her, her ultimate move, she grabs the ghost by the tail and like spins it around and hits enemies with it, dealing uh, fire damage and healing herself. Next we have Kaking or Kaching. Hmm. We go Letra. Mm -hmm. She seems very purple. Um, There's been a few purple people. There have, but she's got like little purple crystals in the back of her. Um, Electric bugs. <laughs> it's a bit of a spoiler, but yeah. Um, I feel like she's quite popular. Like a lot of people want to be around her. She's very friendly. Um, I'm gonna go bow or spear, but I'm gonna go bow. Like electric bows, sort of thing. Um, yeah, I feel like she's friends with animals as well, because it looks like she's got ears and like a little feather on her side. Mm. Um, so that's actually a hairstyle. Ah. Um, is her hair tied up? It's awfully like she's friends with animals. Fair enough. So, um, Kaching, she is Electro. She's a sword user. Oh. Um, did you, have you guessed what position sort of no. power position? No. Um, bit of damage, but not as much, like, kind of medium damage-ish. She's, she's the main damage dealer, I'd say. Um, well, yeah, there's, she kind of doesn't fit anywhere else in the party. Yeah, she she is the one of the secretaries for the sort of the now leader of uh, Liyue, at least currently in the story. She's like a bit of a workaholic. So is Ganyu, actually, the ice yeah. um, archer before. I think she's the head of tourism or something similar. But yeah, uh, electro sword user. Okay, so next we have Ning Wang. You go ground. Geo, yeah. Uh, we've not had many ground people. She's got a lot of yellow. So why not? She does, yeah. Um, <laughs> you go. I want to go Claymore, but I don't think she is. But she kind of feels like she could be. How about now? Probably more magic, but I still really want to go Claymore now. Mm -hmm. um, we'll go magic. Yeah. Um, she's very quiet. But also, she kind of attracts a lot of people anyway. Um, like, there's just like a thing about her that people want to be near her, but she doesn't talk very much. Um, I feel like she's very much a support. Um, like, she helps out other people and doesn't really do, do much damage. Okay. So you're right, she's Geo. She is a Catalyst user, so magic. And she... She could either be the main damage dealer or like a burst damage, like you swap her and you do a load of quick damage and then swap out sort of thing. So her role, she's currently the 
the leader of Liyue. Right. In a way, she heads the council or something. It's kind of complex. But yeah, she's she's like super busy, super wealthy. She started off poor and built up her wealth, and now she's like one of the richest people in Liyue and possibly <laughs> the world. But yeah, she's very refined and respected. Yeah. And everyone really respects anyone. Anyway. Next we have Chi Chi or Kiki. Um, Pretty cute. Hmm. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna say electric. Just because it's purple. Yeah. Um, if not purple, I'd have probably gone ice. Um, but we'll go electric. Um, <laughs> or air. No, we'll go electric. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about weapons. Yeah, this one's a tough one, I'll admit. Doesn't really seem like she'd use any. No, she's just a little girl. But then again, so is Clea and Diona. But... Yeah, but they seem like more fighters. Yeah, she like, seems she's, very passive. She's just kind she? of like there. Uh, any idea? No, maybe a sword or a bow. Okay. What What about her role? Um. Well, just from the way she's acting, it seems like she'd be support. Mm. But. It's probably the complete opposite, <laughs> and it's probably the main damage dealer, probably a tank with a claymore. So, Chi Chi Kiki is a cryo ah, ice yeah. user, and she uses a sword. She is a support, she's like a healer. Right. She's probably the best healer in the game. It's just unfortunate that like other characters can heal enough and also yeah. do other stuff better, it's kind of a, a thing. But she's, she's really good at healing, what she does. Um, so sort of her story, she she died many years ago, right. and uh, the people that killed her felt bad, so they brought her <laughs> back as a zombie. Oh. Much. In Chinese and uh, Asian culture, the, the little talisman on her head sort of symbolizes like a ghost or a zombie. All oh, right. And uh, the Hu Tao, the funeral director we saw before, really wants to bury her because she thinks she should stay dead. But this is the character who likes cocoa goat milk, and mm. everyone jokes that she's like chasing around Ganyu. You can tune in next time to find out how Alex fares guessing the rest of Genshin Impact's characters. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. <laughs>